This is Andy Perlwell for ID Boxing. I'm joined by Troy Williamson here in London. Troy, firstly, how are you? I'm good, mate. Yourself? All good, all good. Obviously, a massive domestic clash for you. Also, one further up north, you know, a local clash. Um, Troy, what does this fight actually mean to you personally? Oh, it's huge. Uh, it's titled the King of the North. So, yeah, it's massive. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. There's only going to be one King December the 2nd, that's me. It's obviously been a fight which I've seen you've wanted for a while, Troy. Why do you think it is that it's taken that bit longer to get it over the line for you two to finally cross paths? Uh, because the first place was postponed on their behalf. Um, but I don't know, not, not sure what reason. Uh, otherwise, it, it possibly could have happened before now. But it got postponed and we've got a date now, so it's happening. Going back and kind of looking at Josh's career, and especially since the David Avenesian fight, some people have questioned his hunger or his desire, what's left with him and what he wants to achieve in the sport. When you've watched him since the loss to Avenesian, do you think that he's shown a lack of hunger, a lack of desire? Nah, I wouldn't say so. He's, he's, he's boxed twice since then. He's got, the, and he's got two wins. So I won't know until December 2nd because he's going to be in the trenches on that night and we're going to see how much hunger he's got left then. Joe, we know you're an all-action fighter, you'll please the crowd, you'll come forwards and you'll, you'll certainly look for a knockout. Do you think that that's the perfect way to kind of counteract Josh's style, who's looked at as more of kind of a slick boxer, as it were? Yeah, it's obviously it's going to be labelled as like a boxer versus puncher, but a lot of people don't realise that I can box myself. You're going to see that on the night. But um, yeah, obviously I, I will be taking it to him and I'm going to take him into deep waters and we'll see if, he, if he's going to sink or swim. Do you think your boxing skill set is overlooked? Yeah, definitely. I think it's just like you say. I, I get caught up in a fight, uh, and, I, and I like to, I like to give the fans uh, the, the money's worth. But yeah, I think it does get overlooked because I don't really box as much. But I, I can box. Look at me. Look at me fight against Mason Cartwright. I was I was down on the, on the canvas in round two, and we had to change the game plan, uh, and we had to get up and box. And obviously, I, I cruised to a unanimous unanimous decision. So, and I boxed lovely. Boxed beautiful from round six onwards. Behind my jab, and um, yeah. Looking look forward, look forward to December 2nd, you're going to see a different Troy Williamson. Troy, kind of looking towards that fight day, when you are in the ring with him and if you are successful, you have your hand raised, how sweet of a victory do you feel it will, it will feel like? Yeah, it's, obviously it's huge. This, this fight's huge for British boxing, not just for the North East, but with it being in the North East, it's, it, it, yeah, it's massive. Um, getting the win in front of the, the whole North East crowd is it's going to be something special. Do you think Josh has overlooked you up until this point in his career? You know, when he first turned over, he was looked at as kind of a, one of the stars from Team GB, all of his expectation, he'd go on to achieve world honours. Um, do you feel like at any points in his career he's overlooked you? No, nah, definitely not. Um, Josh knows exactly what I'm all about. He's, he, he, he's even said that in previous interviews. Um, if he has, he's stupid. But no, nah, he knows what I'm all about and he knows what I'm going to bring and he knows he's in for a hard night, so I love that he's overlooked me once. I saw your tweet, I think it was last night, about, I'm um, sorry, showing Josh, suggesting that he's not kind of a, a die-hard Sunderland fan. Can you just kind of elaborate a bit more onto what you've seen on that front? Obviously, football footballers, sorry, football clubs being involved with boxers these days seems to be a big thing. Yeah, I think he's just obviously just trying to, to get in with the, the Sunderland crowd and try to build followers. Um, I've never once come out and said that I support Newcastle. Even though I wore Newcastle top two his fight, that was just to, to build the fight and get under his skin. It, it obviously worked. Um, he's saying I support Middlesbrough, which I don't. I just train in Middlesbrough. Um, so, yeah, there's only one fake here and that's him. Do you think it's easy to get underneath Josh's skin? All I've done was wore Newcastle top two his fight and it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's really under his skin, so it must be. Joe, I'm going to leave a final one to you because I know we're about to start. Um, Final message, have you got anything you'd like to say to Josh Kelly ahead of your bout? Uh, just make sure that you're 100% uh, because I don't want no excuse on the night when I take you out. Sure, I appreciate your time. Thanks for being to me in ID Boxing. Cheers.